Today we're going to be using GeoGebra to construct an irregular polygon. A state standard we will be looking at is given a geometric figure and its image, specify a rigid motion or sequence of rigid motions that would transform the pre-image to its image. A question we would like to take a look at is, is it possible for the image of the polygon at their rotation to correspond to the image of the same polygon under a reflection? And explain. So now we're going to open the GeoGebra software. And when you open up the GeoGebra software, make sure you have a grid, your X and Y axis, and over to the left, somewhere where you can type in your lines of reflection. When we construct our irregular polygon, it will fill in the points and your segments, everything that you're creating, it will input it here over to the left. All right, so let's start by constructing our irregular polygon by clicking on the polygon tool. And I'm gonna construct my irregular polygon here in the first quadrant. So I'm just gonna click anywhere, construct that image, my pre-image. And there you go, I have my pre-image. Now, if you look over here, it gives you those ordered pairs. And those ordered pairs, it gives you the number, it gives you the lengths of each segment. And we didn't have to input any of that in. Now, we want to rotate this image, our pre-image, 180 degrees around about the origin. Well, in order for us to do that, here with this software, we're going to click the point tool. And I'm going to put my point here on the origin and it labels it point F. Now, if your points aren't labeled when you construct your image, you can always right click and it will say show label and it will label it for you. Uh, Mine was already labeled, so I did not need to do that. All right, so now we have our point of reflection. Now, when we, something is rotated 180 degrees. The rule in geometry is that the signs change for both your X and Y axis. So looking at point B, let's say we looked at point B, and point B is here where it says it's at 6.4 and 7.36. Well, in order for me to want it to reflect 180 degrees, it would have to become negative 6.4 and negative 7.36. Well, we could type that in over here on the side, but there's another way that we can do that with this GeoGebra software. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here, we're gonna click on rotate a brown point. I'm gonna click on my pre-image. I'm gonna pick up, click on the point of reflection, and we're gonna type in 180 degrees, and we want it to rotate clockwise about the origin and hit OK. Now, going back to what we were talking about earlier with point B being at, let's go back up, 6.4 and 7.36, let's go down and see if our image that we created, we cancel that, if that point B is at negative 6.4 and negative 7.36, and it is. It shows us that here that it was rotated 180 degrees, and it shows us that it was negative 6.4 and negative 7.36. So we have our rotated image. Now, when an image is reflected over a specific line, the rule for that is it has to be, the pre-image and the image has to be equal distance from that line of reflection. Well, I want my pre-image to reflect over the y-axis. So I'm gonna come over here to the left and I'm gonna type here. And in order for me to have a line of reflection, I need to type in x equals zero. And that will give me a, my line of reflection. So we're gonna come back up here, click on our tool and reflect about line. 
I'm going to click on my pre-image. I'm going to click on the y-axis and it reflects it over the y-axis. And if you notice the the pre-image and the reflected image are both equal distance from that line of reflection which was the y-axis. Now, the question we're going to take a look at was is it possible for the image of the polygon after a rotation to correspond to the image of that same polygon under a reflection and then we're going to explain well looking at this rotated image and the reflected image they are both equal distance from this line of reflection which will be the x-axis so it looks as though if I reflect my rotated image over the x-axis it will correspond with the reflected image so I'm going to come over here to the left and I'm going to type in y equals 0 so we can have a line of reflection on the x-axis I'm going to come back up here click on the tool reflect about line and I'm going to click on my rotated image and click on my line of reflection which is the x-axis let me go back that didn't work and let's click that again reflect about line click the image click my line of reflection and it reflects and it corresponds onto the reflected image so if you notice is it possible for a rotated image to correspond to a reflected image yes as long as you reflect it over a specific line and in this case the line that we reflected it over was the x-axis thank you